Hey, folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Shooting Up North, Instagram at Alliance PW Network. And feel free to join our Facebook group, the Alliance Pro wrestling network and please consider hitting that like button and one more time if you don't subscribe to the alliance pro wrestling network youtube channel please 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 hit that subscribe button all right so let's get into it finally finally my wish has come to fruition my wish has come true ove is fully reunited in impact wrestling Madman Fulton joining Jake Crist and Sammy Callahan at Against All Odds to take on the design, uh, Angels, uh, Diener, and Big Khan. So thank goodness. Thank goodness we're getting a full OVE reunion. And man, I hope it's not a one-off. I hope it's not a one-off. Jake Crist, Madman Fulton belong in Impact Wrestling. Very, very good talents there. Uh, they would add a lot to Impact Wrestling. Hopefully, OVE is back for good. OVE against the design is a feud that can last for a number of months. Uh, there could be multiple matches, multiple gimmick matches. Uh, the match at Against Elijah is going to be a street fight, Ohio street fight. I, I would have the design win that one to prolong the feud, let it go on for a couple months. Uh, but but anyway, regardless, I just hope this is not a one-off with uh, OVE's, um, OVE's full reunion in Impact Wrestling. As I said, Madman Fulton, great talent. Uh, Jay Christ, phenomenal talent. Uh, and, uh, of course, Sammy Callahan. So hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot more of OVE in Impact Wrestling. Thank goodness. Um, thank goodness they decided to, uh, you know, stick uh, Rick Swan in that eight four one match, uh, which um, which opened the door for Madman Fulton to uh, to rejoin uh, Sammy Callahan and Jay Chris in this feud. This is what the, the this is what the feud should be. Sammy uh, Rich Swan shouldn't have been involved in this feud at all. This is how the feud should have been from the beginning. It should have been Sammy Callahan, Man Man Fulton, Jake Christ against the design. That's the feud that that I was that you know, I know I um, on past podcasts I mentioned that was uh what um I wanted the feud to be. Uh and thankfully it's happening now. Uh, I don't think Rich Swan should have gotten involved in this at all. But um I better late than never, better late than never. Uh, so um, don't let this be a one-off. You know, Impact Wrestling could do a lot. They could do a lot with Jay Chris. They could do a lot with Man Man Fulton, even if they're not in OVE. You know, I'm looking forward to Big Con and Man Man Fulton. They're gonna be, they're gonna be in the ring. They're gonna be just staring at each other. They're gonna face off. That's gonna be fantastic. When Man Man Fulton and Big Con are staring at each other, eyeball to eyeball in the middle of the ring, and they just start um, swapping blows, that's gonna be freaking amazing. And I can't wait for that. And I can't wait. I mean, it's perfect. It's this is like a, this is oh, I don't want to say it's a perfect feud, but this is this is a fantastic. This feud has put just fantastic potential. Has such fantastic potential. You know, of course, Callahan and Diener, uh, the two um, the the leaders of each group. You can have Angels against Jay Christ, of course, Big Con against Man Man Fulton. That match is going to happen. One on one match would be great. Uh, you could have you can mix and match. You can have um, Christ against Diener. You could have Angels against. There's so much you could do. There's so, you could have a lethal lockdown match uh, with these two teams. This is what Impact Wrestling should have done from the start with this with this feud, man. But again, they're doing it now, so I'm, I'm I'm stoked. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I can't wait for this match. I'm looking forward to this match. Um, probably more than any match on the card, except for the dog collar match between Slamovich and Killer Kelly, because uh, um, I. I I, I wanted them to bring uh, Man Man Fulton and Jake Chris back for quite some time, and and now they're back. And Jake Chris is this um, 
he was at the last uh, last um, Impact Plus event, and now he was at the TV tapings. Uh, now he's going to be at Against All Odds. So hopefully, um, you know, sign Jay Chris to a contract, sign Man Man, Man Fulton to a contract. Let's get these two teams having a long, drawn-out feud. I think it could be absolutely fantastic. It has great potential. Lethal lockdown, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. OVE against the design. Let's let's do it, man. Let let's get it done. That's 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 oh man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped for this. I'm pumped for this feud, man. You see how I'm excited I am. This is gonna be a great feud. This is gonna be a great feud. And and I, I hope Impact Fuzzy doesn't drop the ball though. Like I said, if this is just a one off, they're just bring Madman Fulton back for this match, I'll be thoroughly disappointed. Thoroughly disappointed if they bring Madman Fulton back just for this one match and and that's it. If it's just a one off. But uh, I don't think it's going to be a one-off. I don't think it's going to be a one-off. I think um, I think we're uh, we're going to see um, we're going to see a lot of uh, Jay Chris and Madman Fulton in, in Impact Wrestling. Just sign Fulton to a deal, man. Sign him to a deal. Give him give him some money which he could uh, he, he could survive off of, and um, you know, pay Jay Chris um, uh, a handsome sum of money as well, and just keep these two in Impact Wrestling because I think they're great talents and I think they belong in Impact Wrestling. So hopefully, um, hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot more of uh, of these two. All right, so let's let's switch gears. Um, I don't know if you if if um how many of you are watching now have watched uh, my um, interview with uh, Indie Sensation and the ISPW um, Heavyweight Champion Rick Recon. I interviewed Rick Recon um, yesterday, as a matter of fact, and the the interview was released on the channel yesterday. Uh, and um, I know I know uh, Tommy Dreamer wrestles a lot for ISPW, and Rick Recon, I, as I mentioned, the ISPW champion. Uh, so I asked him. I said, you know, have you had any discussions with Tommy Dreamer about about uh, about Impact Wrestling, about maybe possibly making your debut about uh, in, in possibly making your debut. In Impact Wrestling, uh, and uh, this is what he had to say. So, uh, so I asked him um, if he had any talks with Tommy Dreamer um, about a possible debut for Impact Wrestling, and and R Rick Recon said that the, that they've had they talked about it a little bit. So Rick Recon, there's a quote from Rick Recon uh, in the interview, and if you haven't seen the interview, watch the interview. It's it's a great interview with Rick, Rick Recon. Uh, so Recon said yes, uh, yeah, yes, a little bit. I can tell, i.e., he has been at more and more ISPW events, so, so there's been more and more interaction. It's good to see him, obviously, every time he is there. Tommy Dreamer is an awesome guy, for real. He's a really good dude, one of the best. He is always trying to help people out. The thing is, he will go out of his way to watch guys' matches, and he's come, he come to me with feedback and definitely a lot of confidence boosters. So I could tell he's paying attention. And now I have his attention in a sense. He's a guy that I've looked up to for years. Anyway, just as a fan, I always loved Tommy Dreamer. So it's really cool to be able to talk to him on that level. And then I asked him if there's an Impact Wrestling star that he would like to face. And uh, Rick Recon said, um, without a doubt, it's Steve Macklin. He said he thinks Steve, him and Steve Macklin, uh, he said he would love to tear it up uh, with Steve Macklin. Um, so they have so so. Rick Recon and Tommy Schumer have spoke about Recon possibly uh, coming into uh, Impact Wrestling. They spoke a little bit about it. There have been discussions. I think I think Impact Wrestling should should go for it. I think Impact Wrestling should sign Rick Recon. Rick Rick Recon. I don't know if you guys remember. He's made um, he made two appearances on AEW Dark. Uh, one in twenty twenty one. One in twenty 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 one and twenty twenty two. It it really didn't showcase his skills uh, those AEW, AEW dark matches really didn't showcase his skills and um he's he's a tremendous tremendous talent and he's a he's about to break out man he is about to break out and he would be an absolute amazing amazing signing in my opinion if impact wrestling brought him in and they could build him up he's got a great look he's a good talker and his his in-ring abilities are just terrific. Um, he gets nothing but positive, positive feedback, positive reviews from anyone that's watched him. Uh, he's been called um, a future star. Uh, people have said it's not a matter of if he's going to make it. It's a matter of when he gets there. Um, 
so um it's just not not a matter of it if matter of what it's a matter of when for Rick Recon. So Impact Wrestling should definitely definitely take a long long look and it. it seems like Tommy Dreamer might be taking a long look at Rick Recon uh from that's 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 what I was getting. That's that's the feeling I got after I did the interview uh with with uh, Recon. Uh he's a great dude too. Great guy to talk to. Great guy to talk to. And uh I'll, I'll he'll be back on my show a number of times uh in the in the future. Uh but I would I would impact wrestling uh if they want to bring in some new talent, some new fresh talent. Rick Recon I think would be a a, a tremendous addition to Impact Wrestling. Um I'm just thinking he's he could be a I asked him if he thinks he he could be a future exhibition or uh impact wrestling world champion. He's just like, oh, yeah, of course, of course I can. See, and he sees he's 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 got such a coolness about him, man. You I, I don't want to say the word cockiness, but but if he is cocky, he can back it up, right? Rick Recon could back it up. So I, I I hope that um these discussions that he's had with Tommy Dreamer, I I hope it leads to um some sort of uh hey, let's let's debut Rick Recon. Let's let's put him on a couple of BTI shows and let's see what Rick Recon could do. Cause I think he would um I think he would impress everybody at Impact Wrestling. And uh I, I think uh I think Impact Wrestling would probably wind up signing him. Would probably wind up signing Rick Recon if he was given the opportunity, and um, I, I hope they do. I hope they do. I think uh, I think Rick, Rick Recon is going to be a star. He's 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 a he's having a breakout year so far. Because uh, I asked him, I said, "Do you think this is going to be uh, down the road? Do you think you're going to eventually break out?" He goes, "I'm having my break. I am breaking out." <laughs> So he's he's having his breakout year, and I I think he's going to be with a major promotion by the end of this year, and I'm hoping I'm hoping it's Impact Wrestling. Okay, so uh, against all odds, as I mentioned, against all odds, uh, the new um the OVE versus the Design Street fight. So let's go over all the matches for for against all odds, which is this Friday, by the way. I didn't realize it was this Friday. So it's uh, it's it's this Friday against all odds. I got to work late too, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to watch it live. Plus, um, all together, uh, all together again pay per view, uh, which I'm gonna talk about later in the week. All Japan Pro Wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Noah all coming together uh, for a huge crossover event. Uh, but I'll be talking about that like tomorrow or Wednesday. Run down all the matches, but uh, here are the matches for against all odds. Uh, so you got Steve Macklin versus Alex Shelley for the Impact Wrestling World Championship. You got the eight four one match. Uh, so you have it's uh begins as an eight man tag. The winning team advances to a four way match, and the winner of the four way match receives a shot at the Impact Wrestling World Championship at Slammiversary. It's going to be the 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 two teams. Bully Ray, Jonathan Gresham, Heath, and Nick Aldis uh, versus Mike Bailey, Moose, PCO, and Rich Swan. Uh, so whoever wins that, then it's a four-way match, um, fatal four-way, and the winner of that is going to get the shot at, uh, or I should say, when when Nick Aldis wins this match, then he's going to get the shot at uh, Steve Macklin uh, at Slamversary. So Slamversary is going to be Macklin against Nick Aldis 100%. There's no doubt. No doubt. No doubt that's going to be the match. Singles match for the Impact Wrestling Exhibition Championship. Trey Miguel defending against Chris Sabin in a rematch. Uh, Killer Kelly uh, versus Masha Slamovich in a dog collar match. This is going to be the match of the night, folks. This is going to be the match of the night. Killer Kelly versus Masha Slamovich in a dog collar match. You have Ace Austin, Chris Bay, ABC versus The Good Hands, Jason Hodge, and John Schuyler with Brian Myers. This is not a full preview or prediction show, but I think the good hands are going to win the titles. I'm, I'm glad to see them getting a shot. Jason Hodge, John Skyler, great tag team. They really gelled together well. They really worked together well, and I'm glad to see them getting a, a shot at the uh, the tag team titles. And I have a feeling they're going to win. I just, I don't know. I got the feeling. Uh, you got Eddie Edwards versus Frankie Kazarian in a singles match. Um Joe Hendry defending the Impact Digital Media Championship against Dirty Dango. I'm expecting Dango to win the title uh, from Joe Hendry. Uh, yeah, Trinity and Deanna Prazo against Giselle Shaw and Savannah Evans. Um, this is going to be the standard. Uh, there's going to be some miscommunication between Trinity and Perazzo because they have the big match coming up at Slammiversary. There'll be some miscommunication. Perazzo will 
accidentally hit Trinity or vice versa, and uh, they'll wind up exchanging blows, um, or one of them is going to take the other one out um, when the match ends. Uh, so then you got the design. Uh, as I mentioned, des the design, uh, Diener, Khan, and Angels versus OVE, Sammy Callahan, Jay Chris, Madman Fulton. This will be the, my second second favorite match of the night, in my opinion, um, behind the dog collar match between Kelly and Slavovich. Uh, but uh, this is going to be great. Like I said, just fantastic to see OVE back in Impact Wrestling. And man, oh man, this better not be a one-off or I'll be angry. <laughs> I'll be angry if this is a one-off. I'm gonna. I. I. Um. What will I do? What will I do? I will. Uh. I. I will not let anybody eat a fish stick. <laughs> no, I don't know. What would I do? I won't do anything. I won't do anything. I'll, I'll. I'll just. I'll just go. I'll just go into the basement where I am now. Go into the sofa here and just sulk. <laughs> I'll sulk for like forty-five minutes if uh, if it's a one-off. I'll just make a like a sulky face with like arms oh, folded like this. Hmm. That's not that should have been a one off. But anyway, it's not, I don't think it's gonna be a I I I hope it's not a one off. But um let let's we'll enjoy against all odds. Against all odds, man, they put together a, a decent show rather quickly, so this A41 match is interesting. Uh but you know, as 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 BQ said, and he was he's a hundred percent right, this match would have been better if we didn't already know who was gonna win. Right, we all we all know that um, that Nick Aldis is gonna is gonna win, and this this could actually very be very well be um, one of Moose's last events because he's he's a free agent coming up this month, and he's involved in this. So um, I don't know. Hopefully they'll resign Moose. You know, I already did the podcast on that, but uh, yeah, we all know Nick Aldis is gonna win this one, right? So. Well, maybe they should just like not even have the match. Just, just, just uh, automatically declare Nick Aldis the winner because uh, they should. That's what they should do. <laughs> Scott Demore should just come out with the headset. Is just the headset. Um, yeah, um, we've decided that uh, the A four one match. We're not even going to have it, and because um, uh, I'm declaring Nick Aldis the winner because that's that's what's going to happen anyway. So Nick Aldis, congratulations! You're getting a shot at Slammiversary. And uh, you think the fans would pop? <laughs> think the fans would pop for that? Yeah. Anyway, okay, so I, that's it. There's nothing else. I got nothing else here. Nothing else. So um, yeah, and we're gonna leave it at that. Leave it at that. So I'll be back. Like I said, I'm gonna be talking um about uh, all together again. Um, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Old Japan Pro Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Noah, huge crossover event on June 9th. Um, it's going to be on New Japan Pro, Pro Wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling World, uh, World, uh, their streaming service, but it's going to be a pay per view. You have to pay extra for it if you have that streaming service. Uh, it's about $30 US. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to order it. I'm going to order it because it's going to be uh, just a fantastic event. Uh, but um, any more Impact Wrestling news, of course, you know, I'll uh, I'll pop on. But uh, we're going to leave it at that. And um, anything else breaks, of course, I'll be back. Uh, but until, And you have, if you haven't checked out the Rick Recon interview, check it out. Check out the interview right now. Go do it right now. Do it. Check it out. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that. Anything else breaks, I'll be back. But until then, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.